What I do, you guys, I know I don't post on here very often, but I'm going to um, post this. It's your girl, Amber, here on Shay Rain TV. What it do with you and my gang, my gang, my gang. Squad! Um, I'm on my way to the hospital. I have to go get a biopsy. Um, in 2014, well, y'all don't know black, the back history, but in 2014, a little bit before I got married, I think right after I met my husband, I had found a knot in my chest, and um, it's kind of stayed the same the whole entire time I had it. I got pregnant. The doctor said breastfeeding would help it just go away because it's a fibronoma, fibroid noma. It didn't go away. Well, it felt like it went away, right? So then I freaking gone, gone, gone. I stopped breastfeeding. My breasts uh, feel flat, you know. So then, um, yeah, my breasts were, they were flat. So then I could feel something in my breast. I felt the knot and it felt huge. It felt bigger than the knot I had previously had. I'm recording this on my iPhone. So I'm sorry if the footage is like not the best. Um, it felt huge than I ever have felt it before. So then I uh, waited like a month or two because I was like, maybe I'm tripping. Went to the doctor. She said, you know, I do feel kind of big. I got an ultrasound. And when I got an ultrasound, they found another one. And they asked that I want a biopsy. And I was like, yeah, I would want a biopsy because I want to take it out. Um, it's some journeys I'm trying to start in my life. And I just don't want it there, honestly. Like, that's just the end of the story. And I want them to know exactly what it is. Because I feel like if you have a knot in your breast, I feel like the best bet is to always get a biopsy. Because you don't know. They saying it's fibronoma. Fibronoma. It could be malignant. And you never know. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yes, I am dropping myself. I will hit you guys back up probably at the hospital when I'm in the room. Or once I get back. Uh, tell you how the whole experience was if you never got a biopsy before and you want to know how it feels I'm gonna show y'all all I can say is I hope they don't hit me the sun is glistening I turn around this way and I walk backwards I'm going to the hospital hospitals behind me I can't keep walking backwards it's kind of childish you know um, I already look like a kid so but yeah so now I'm here to get my biopsy. Um, never had a biopsy before. So scared. Took a sleeping pill last night. Forgot that I don't think I was supposed to take any uh, amphetamines or opiates or anything like that. So let's hope that. Um, damn, I wish I could have parked up here in the patient parking. But, you know, it's whatever. Um... Yeah, but let's hope that that doesn't affect me. Yes, I have a sweater on in this 80 degree weather because everywhere you go in Guam, it don't matter how hot or how cold it is. That's like not cold, but like sometimes it's raining and you still go into the BX or the NEX and it be fucking freezing. They be trying to freeze your ass off. But anyway, I'll holler at you guys probably when I get in the room. Or something like that. I really do want to get this video out probably today. I got a hot Christmas present and ish like that. So we'll see what happened. All right, you guys, as you can see, uh, they uh, just did a ultrasound to uh, look at the knots again before they do the biopsy. And um, we got all this stuff or whatever, but I just wanted to come back and just tell you what was happening before they came back in the room. So, yep, yeah, I'm ready to get my biopsy now. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Um, just leaving. Um, what I'm about to say. So, I basically, I got my breast numb with lidocaine. And they took the biopsy needle and they shot it into the um, fibroid three times and took little samples of it um when i get lidocaine i have to get like over the amount of a normal person for some reason 
so he had to like keep numbing me up now i'm on my way to the post office i know y'all probably can't hear me but i'm on my way to the post office to um ship this stuff off to one of my customers i currently have a business so I'm going to the post office now and to ship some stuff off to one of my babies and i will holler at you guys when i get home i have to rush home my husband has to go to work so i'm at the post office going to drop this these contacts off she has a box here so it shouldn't be that much to send it seeing that i'm not sending it anywhere so i got the goodies let me show y'all what i what she ordered she ordered three pairs of contacts in the colors oh god i'm all discombobulated y'all in the colors topaz y'all can't see in the colors topaz male icy gray and i'm about to go and um do the damn thing i got this ice pack in my titty looking like who did it and why like why your titty so lumpy i don't know um so yeah let's go ahead and get this done with so i can get this done with go pick my husband me and my baby some up to eat and then um give my husband a car so he could take his ass to work and because he probably won't be home for lunch because he ain't get to work yet lunch is at 12 it's freaking 10 so um i will be doing vlogmas though y'all i know oh my god nobody really watched me like that but i think it'll be fun to do so i'm not gonna be doing it on my phone all the time i'll be doing it with my camera i have two freaking cameras that need to get used before, you know so all right all right you guys so your girl is back um i'm home how about my son my husband something to eat look at this lizard where are you going at bro bro i bought my son my husband something to eat and now i am looking for the key to the car because sister don't know what she did with that goddamn key i supposed to be laying down because my titty hurt of course because i just had a biopsy on it um i tolerate pain fairly well so it's about a not even a five but it is still pretty painful and it's annoying because you have to like deal with it. Yeah, let's just put that on like this. It's not like you can't have none of that. It's not like extreme pain that you can't deal with. Like you can deal with the pain. It's not that serious. But I would advise you to listen to your doctor when they tell you when you come home. Get something to eat lay down because right now i'm actually starting to feel stop pretty crappy so all right what's up you guys so how y'all boy feel because this girl here feel oh lord jeez that's i'm in pain a little bit like no more than a little bit this pain literally came out of nowhere like i freaking woke up because i took a nap and oh this pain was like wham wham my titty hurt oh there you go look at that <laughs> titty in pain you know what i'm saying i don't know if you get what i'm saying but also a lot of my videos stop you could go get get my drink. You want some water? You can have the rest of the soda. Um, but yeah, so it's really in pain. I freaking Yeah, 
Did not expect this. And then when I, I, I've been saying that for a while, like I didn't expect for my titty to be hurting like this. Like, why didn't I expect for my titty to be hurting like this? They literally was like, jab, 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 jab. I think I already said this, but they, like, jab, 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 jab. Be careful. Be careful. Don't get that on the bed, babe. But yeah, so. Literally. Jab, 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 jab. In the titty. Stabbing you in the titty. Stop, stop, stop. I just can't get over it. That's why I keep talking about it. I never had that done before. Also, the vlogs um, that I will be doing for Vlogmas. It would be little to no editing. Uh, I mean, it might be some editing. But I'm trying not to, like, over-edit. Because I want it to be, like, kind of raw. Because I'm going to be trying to record it, like, most times. This week, I know it's about to be OD boring. <laughs> because I don't, uh, I'm not going nowhere. But even when I go out, y'all, this is how much I'm going to record this month. Even when I go, I already went like Black Friday shopping. I didn't record, but when I wrap presents, I'm gonna be recording. I'm just gonna record everything and just edit everything together. And I'm gonna try to keep it up every day and post a video every day. And yeah. He went to sleep with me. I can't pick him up or anything. And I love my baby. Y'all just know I love my baby so much. I can't pick him up. But he a grown man. Why well, don't I, well, I want to pick his big tail up anyway? He's not big for his age. He's just big because this is the biggest he ever been, if you get what I'm saying. He's two. And I met a one-year-old that could eat him. My baby is barely 21 pounds. He's like his mom. He like his dad. My, my husband is skinny. But y'all will see him. Y'all will see him lots. Y'all wouldn't have a choice to see him. Because we hang out a lot. Like, me and my husband. And my babe. Of course. But anyway, you guys, I'm just talking shit. So, I'll see y'all when I find something to do with myself.